H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. So this is the method, execute non-query is the method which is present inside your command to execute this insert statement. That's all. This is the code you have to write to insert the records into the database. Now, since uh, since once the records are inserted, uh, we need to display a message whether the records are inserted successfully or not. So for that, what we will do is we'll add here one label. So let me add a br tag and then another br tag, and then here I will add a label asp colon text box asp colon label. ID equal to LBL message and then I'll put runner server okay now um, now let me go back here and uh, we have added this let me go back to the uh, the source code F7 when you press F7 it will take you to .cs file so here what I need to do I need to write like this LBL message dot text is equal to is equal to details saved successfully so now ideally imagine my SQL server is down so which line do you think will get the error imagine someone has uh, deleted this uh, someone has uh, removed this or assume that my server database server is down so which line do you think you will get error here okay I repeat my question imagine my database server is down so which line do you think uh, let me ask some couple of questions here control F11 uh, got this as well so here I'm declaring connection so I will not get any error here here I'm just declaring the command I will not get any error here but when I'm writing con dot open I am trying to open the connection for this database so I will get a possible error so when I try to open the connection when the server is down okay so imagine if someone has deleted this table I have this come I have this uh, connection properly I have server up and everything is fine but if someone has by mistake deleted the table which line do you think will get the error I got one message uh, from Padmini how about others yes I will get the error in execute non query because what this execute non query is will try is it will try to insert the values into customer table but the table is not there so this line will throw error so out of all these lines the possible lines that might get errors are these two so what you need to do is you need to put these two in try catch block so we learned in try catch previously the reason why we add try catch block is let's take a, a simple scenario okay let me run this code and we'll see what happens so once you are done right you need to close the connection so here you have to write here con dot close so let me run this code so I'll uh, I'll be executing that and we'll verify whether the records are inserted or not so I'm writing customer name uh, Bharat and he is from Hyderabad so let me click on save so I guess it's saving the details I am getting an error so what is that error I'm getting uh, execute non query I can actually see here what is that error I'm getting so connection property has not been initialized so so can you guys get guess what is the error yeah if you guys tell me the resolution I'll be really happy so can you guess what is the error so I got a perfect answer so for this command I told the connection command text but I missed very important uh, property to initialize for this command I forgot to tell what is the connection 
I told the command text but where is the connection for this command I failed to give the connection so what I need to do here I need to put here cmd dot uh, cmd dot connection is equal to conn so every time till now what we used to do we used to put here inside this inside this we used to put here both uh, uh, command text and connection so this line is missing so that is the reason why we got an error initialization failed for command okay so let me run this okay so now I'm going to write here uh, Meghnath and Hyderabad so I already have Meghna Hyderabad so Bharat Hyderabad so let me click on save okay I'm so I'm showing the message details saved successfully but now uh, imagine uh, imagine if someone has dropped the table so let me drop the table now so now now what happens if someone execute the screen so if I if I execute this see now what happens click on save uh, let me put instead of Bharat let me put Sharat let me click on save so now what happens if if customer will see screen like this so we don't want uh, we don't want uh, employees or customers who are using the application to see the details like this this shows that the coding the uh, the person who is doing coding is not uh, is is not a professional so what I need to do now I need to close this and I need to put everything inside a try catch block so wherever I think that the possibility of errors can occur so I need to put that inside a try and I need to put this inside this inside a catch so I'll put here uh, I'll put here a catch catch exception ex and inside this exception what I'll write here lbl message dot text is equal to exception occurred please in please call one two three four five six seven eight or instead of exception just put some error occurred please call uh, like this something like this toll free if you put normal number nobody will call okay so now so we just need to tell uh, some some error occurred please call this number so or please inform this number okay so now let me run this and see how it looks like okay so I got a uh, okay let me execute this so now uh, I'm writing here Sherat and I'll write here city as city as uh, say Hyderabad now click on save so some error occurred please call toll free number so now we are not seeing the teller screen because it will directly go to the catch block and inside the catch we have some error okay so now I got a question from Babita here can we write this uh, command dot connection is equal to this before this command yes we can write anywhere there is no sequence so here we are just initializing the values till here so so you can put this here so control X and you can put it here okay so now here uh, let me put the font color so here uh, LBL message dot four color so gets a four color foreground color or is it four color or font color okay let me put here four color let's see what is this uh, what is this uh, four color so I want when it is success right I want to display in green, green color when it is error I want to display in red color but that is my intention so so I'll move the mouse here it is showing system dot drawing dot color system dot drawing so so what I need to do here is it a string it's not a string system dot drawing dot color okay system dot drawing dot color dot what is the color I want green okay so when it is throws some error I want to display LBL message dot for color is equal to system dot drawing dot color dot red so why I'm putting here system dot drawing is when I move the mouse here, when I move the mouse here, it is showing me. Uh, when I move the mouse, let me move the mouse here. 
okay so it is showing me what is it is not a string definitely it's showing me like the system dot drawing dot color so I understood that for this one you have to assign something like system dot drawing dot color so I type this and then I'm assigning green so let's see how it looks like so let's run this now I should get in red color uh, four color means I'm thinking whether it will add a font color or it will add a background color so let's see how it looks like so Bharat ABC whatever it is anyway we'll get error so perfect I need it like this and this displaying properly now what I'll do now uh, now I will actually create the table so let me create the table so now now let me minimize this I'll be answering the questions in some time okay so now let's try to execute this so let me run this I have the table now ideally I should not get any error so now uh, Bharat Hyderabad click on save detail saved successfully this looking better so please try this in home and now if I see select star from customer I should see one record Bharat and Hyderabad okay now I got a question here so what happens if I don't if I don't close the connection so if you don't close the connection all the con see uh, there is a limit for number of connections to be open so you cannot open lot a lot number of connections so ideally it's always better when you open the connection please ensure that you close the connection okay so so imagine uh, I open the connection okay and while executing this connection I'm getting some error let's take uh, let's take a scenario like this so let me run this code or uh, it's already there here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write very big name um, um, uh, or Srini, Srini Vastram. some very good name you will see names like this uh, uh, sometimes so here this has crossed the uh, uh, this has crossed the VARC at 20 size so let's see whether we get error or it will trim it out so let me click on save so I'm getting an error so now do you think the connection has been closed now I opened the connection where I got the error now can you guys guess which line I got the error now all of you please guess where where, where which line I got the error I got a message from Mona saying uh, okay I got a message from Ravi as well how about others I go I'll get an error in execute non query because it tries to insert the record but it got failed so it could be because we have in database where cat 20 but the name we are passing so if you want to see exact error what it is you can put a breakpoint here and and let me put a breakpoint and let me put a breakpoint here so now let me ask a question to all of you since we got the error in this line execute non query in, uh, so do you think this line con dot close would have been executed or not it is not executed because the moment you get any error so what happens it will directly jump to the exception so that the statements below that will not be executed anymore so it will directly so so but uh, whenever you're opening connection ensure that you have to close the connection so if you want this statement to be executed always what you have to do now irrespective of the exception or not if you want this to be executed always so what do we have to do now we have to put this inside inside no we cannot put after the catch we have to write we cannot put inside the catch if you put inside the catch uh, if it happens successfully then we will not close it so we have something called finally block yes I got that message from couple of you we have something called finally block so what we can do here I'll show you what we need to do so that is the reason why I I, I just showed that so so now what is that here uh, okay let me stop this and then let me control X and then put here like this finally put it so this is how you have to write your code okay 
so here also you have to check whether the connection is open or not before before clicking on close sometimes uh, the connection might have been closed because of some error so we don't know uh, connection might close so in that case what you have to do is if con dot there is something called connection con dot state so we have con dot state what is it a state now again like before check what it is so I'm typing here con dot state and let me show you that what is that actually see now it indicates connection state uh, so this this SQL connection dot a state is expecting a connection state so what I need to do now if con dot state is equal to connection state dot open so I just checking it if con dot state equal to connection state dot open close it otherwise it's okay if it's open uh, if it's already closed don't care about it so this line you have to remember so now let me run this So now if I'm going to add, so ideally I should get an error if I type like this, very big name. So city, I'm putting Hyderabad. Let's see what is the error we are getting. So click on save. So F10, con dot open. I'll not get any error. Execute on query. Yes. This line will execute this. Press F10. I'm getting an error. What is that error? So let me see here. String or binary data would be truncated. So it is telling you it's an SQL error, error uh, telling you that the string or binary data will be truncated see now let me see what is the command text see here my command text here is you can click on text visualizer and you can copy this so this is the command text you can paste the same command text here and then you can see whether it will execute or not so so I got this much big command text so let me execute this here in SQL server and see what is the error I will get I'm getting an error. String dot binary data would be truncated. The same error is getting to catch block exception. So, so that is the reason why F10, F10, some error occurred. Four curl red, and now it is coming to finally. So, what is the state of the connection? Connection is open. So, since this will be equal, so I'm closing the connection. So, this is the best way to write the code. Okay, some error occurred. Even we close the connection. So. So always ensure that wherever you see that the possibility of errors, just put that inside the try, try block. And if you think that the statements need to be executed for, for sure, then put that in finally block and display this label message. So any questions here? What if the, um, really the, um, the text string is really big? So in that channel, what do you have to do? Uh, can you repeat, please? What if my uh, string is big? So, what we have to do in that scenario? Uh, you mean uh, you mean the string means uh, the name? Yeah, not name. Any other thing that could be large than uh, larger than what we ha you have shown us. Is there anything or no? Yeah, you have to increase the uh, you have to increase the uh, dead type of this to var care fifty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, normally uh, this happens uh, frequently, even in working, uh, even if you are working for a project imagine initially they would have thought that all the customer names will be less than 20 so they will design the database putting varchar 20 but now down the line after 10 years customer used to complain uh, so my name is 30 characters and uh, and I'm getting an error so now then you will get a request saying like uh, support request so you will get a support request saying like all the names wherever you have change it to varchar 30 so in that case, you have to search for the tables which have this column and, and changes to varchar 30. So okay. once you ch increase the size of this to varchar 30, now you can you can save the bigger name as well. That's the resolution. Got it? Yes. Okay. Okay. So now let let's go back to this. Any other questions here? Uh, yeah, I got an answer from Mr. Khan saying like increase the varchar. Yeah, that's perfectly right okay so uh, I got a message from Ravi can I have multiple try catch inside the program yes you can have multiple try catch you can have any number of multiple uh, try catch blocks okay okay so now I am going to give an assignment uh, this one so everyone has to do this whatever I did this now in the class everyone have to do this and send me uh, 
okay I got a question here what if I have ID column how to return the ID uh, in the front end okay so now uh, that's a good question uh, let's try to see that let's try to understand how we can do that uh, let me go back to this table let's let me drop this table and I'm going to create this so there are different ways to do that uh, I repeat the question the question which Padmini is asking is imagine I have this uh, I have here ID for example I have customer ID uh, I have integer I have identity column okay um, now now if I execute this if I execute this I want to display in the UI like customer ID 5 has been inserted successfully or customer ID 10 has been inserted successfully okay so in that case we have to write a stored processor so ideally what we can do is we can write a stored processor and we can ask that stored processor to return that ID okay so let's try to learn how do we call a stored processor so now I will be showing we have this document here inside this TSQL uh, we have a document there are different ways I'll be explaining you uh, to show that using a stored processor okay so let's go to this stored processor and copy the syntax so this is how you have uh, you will have your stored processor let me copy a stored processor which has some parameters okay see here this para this stored processor is having two parameters add two numbers so I'm going to take this stored processor here or let me take another stored okay let me copy this I'm going to this SQL server so I'm going to click on query and pasting this and I I I what is the parameters I have I have uh, let me give here add customer details okay and then here I have what I have uh, at the rate customer name and I need I'll put here where care 20 okay and here I'm going to put here customer city where care 20 okay so I have here two parameters add customer details I have two parameters as and I need to write here I need to write insert query okay so I need to write here insert into customer so let, let's not worry about comments and let's go here and see what are the column names customer 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 name and city when we have identity column we don't need to write insert for that that itself will take care so I have name and city so insert into customer I need to write name city values I need to write here at the rate comma at the rate it's always better to copy paste from here so don't type it you might type something spelling wrong and all and then it will take uh, some time to correct it okay so now I have added this so this is how you have to write a stored pressure so what I have written in stored pressure I'm written like this so uh, create so create 